Hello everyone. I feel like my phone is cloudy. Let's see if I can clean this real quick. That's a little bit better. Hey, so it has been forever since I have done a Facebook Live video. So um, I wanted to do one really quickly today, something that I shared earlier on Periscope. Um, because as I'm talking with um, my nutrition clients um, over the week, um, I'm getting a lot of questions about should I be tracking macros or calories or you know I don't know if I want to do this it's too hard nothing fits my macros that kind of stuff so I wanted to address um, three reasons that you should not track macros and you guys know that, you know, if you're following me on Facebook, like obviously we're friends on Facebook, so you know I'm a huge proponent of if it fits your macros and flexible dieting. And so um, I want to say or share with you, you know, some instances that tracking is not the answer, okay? So the first one is, um, if you are just starting your weight loss journey, um, so if you have um, recently started working out from a sedentary lifestyle or maybe um, only recently began to eat healthier, I want you to hold off on tracking and, um, and hold off on macro calculations. And I say this because it can become, it can seem overwhelming and kind of daunting at first um, and difficult to figure out what fits your numbers or you set your calorie goals too low and so then you're hungry all the time. And so I don't want you to get discouraged. Um, I would encourage you instead to focus on eating whole, minimally processed foods um, do that for a period of time, you know, get into consistently making healthier food choices. Um, and then if you plateau or, you know, can't figure out like why you're not losing, but you're eating right, then you can look at tracking your macros and flexible dieting. So that's the first reason. Um, if you're just starting a weight loss journey, hold off on macro tracking. Okay. So the second reason that uh, you should not track macros, um, you don't want to weigh and measure your foods. Um, and so when you're starting your weight loss journey, it's ideal to use a food scale. So that way you can determine um, accurate uh, portion sizes. And so, you know, you're still going to have to monitor your, uh, your food intake some way. Um, and so, you know, by using a food tracking app or, you know, doing it old school with a pen and a piece of paper and just writing down every day what you're eating, you have to keep track of your intake. Um, but if you do not want to get a food scale or you don't want to weigh and measure your foods, don't track macros. Because when you're starting out with flexible dieting and um, if it fits your macros, you have to have a food scale. You have to weigh and measure your food. Even if, you know, a package of almonds says it's 100 calories for 28 grams or whatever, 14 grams, you still have to measure it out and make sure that that's right. Um, that you're eating the right serving size and the right portion, uh, portion size for what are, you know, your specific goals or whatever. Um, so yeah, so then, you know, if you're not wanting to track, or I'm sorry, if you're not wanting to weigh and measure your foods, um, you can, you still have to monitor your intake. So you would use um, visually, you know, by your hand size or by your hand, um, you know, a whatever, three ounces of chicken breast or, you know, a serving of fat, I think is like the tip of your thumb. Um, so, so doing that, but, you know, know that with, if it fits your macros and flexible dieting, you have to have access to a food scale and you're going to have to weigh and measure your food. So that might be a reason why you don't feel like tracking or why you don't want to want to switch to that method. So the third reason to not track your macros, and this is the big one, okay? If you are jumping from diet to diet to diet, if you are, you know, if you've been doing Whole30 
if you have been doing cleanses, if you have been doing paleo or the zone diet or 21 day, whatever, um, you know, if you've been doing it less than a few weeks, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Give your body a chance to adapt to your new, um, style of eating Stick with those plans for three to six weeks at a minimum or however long the plan is. Stick with it through that time period um, and ensure that it actually doesn't work for you before you, you know, switch over and are trying something else every week and, oh, nothing works. So, you know, you have to be consistent with whatever plan, whichever plan you're doing. So quick recap, three reasons not to track your macros. If you're just starting your weight loss journey um, and you can feel overwhelmed with tracking, so don't do that. Just eat whole unprocessed or minimally processed foods and then we can look at tracking macros later. Um, and you don't, if you don't want to weigh and measure your foods, don't track macros. And um, if you are a program jumper or a diet jumper, don't. Um, yes, I'm live now. Yeah, yeah, April, I'm live. Um, and so yeah, so if you are moving from diet to diet, do not move to flexible dieting. And if it fits your macros, finish your plan and then look at it. So you know. All nutrition plans, guys, work, but you have to be consistent day in and day out. Every day, you have to eat mindfully towards your goals in order to ensure that you are going to reach them in the time that you want um, without having, you know, backsliding. This is especially important as we come up on the holiday weekend when you're like, meh, it's the holiday, so I'm going to eat whatever. And then you get mad on Monday because you have to start all over. So, um, so super important to maintain consistency. And I'm not saying that you can't eat whatever on Memorial Day weekend, but I'm saying that if you're going to have a beer, you're going to have to swap, you're going to have to let go of some carbs uh, to a uh, to make that beer fit your numbers. So, <laughs> so yeah, so just, you know, eat mindfully, eat towards your goals, make those treats fit, uh, fit within your numbers. And if they don't fit, ask me questions. I am happy to tell you uh, how you can make this work for you. Um, if you have questions, yeah, about flexible dieting or if it fits your macros, feel free to message me or shoot me an email, um, sarah at uh, sarahcantraining.com. I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, and hopefully, you know, you guys can start using this method or at least get some more insight on, okay, let me just start eating right first. Let me just stop eating like a jerk and start eating towards my goals. So, ooh, that's a good tweet. Stop eating like a jerk. Yay. Okay, all right, guys. I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye.